This is ASUS VivoBook X513. The screen is flickering. So what happened when it goes to around 45 degree angle, it flicks a lot. It's like thunder, as you can see. So I investigated and the problem was from the actual LCD flex cable. Okay, which cable connects the screen to the motherboard. That's the cable got faulty. Now, this could happen because of the screen or that could happen because of the LCD cable connector or the actual cable itself. Okay, so I placed a order on eBay and I got the replacement part, which is the flex cable. I'm going to show you. Now we have to run through the whole wiring from the screen back to the main board. And that's the model number, by the way. That could happen with any model. You can give it a try before you think the screen is faulty. By the way, this part doesn't cost a lot, but to repair it, it's quite challenging. I mean, replacing it is quite challenging. So first things, you should have some tools. So what are you going to do? We're going to have Phillips screwdriver, flat opening tool. I do have manual automatic because every day I need to open five to ten laptops. And this is a kind of pain for my wrist. OK, so first thing, what are you going to do? We're going to take the back camera out, disconnect the battery before you touch anything else. And then we're going to separate the top panel, which is screen panel from the motherboard panel. And then we'll pull out the screen, take the old cable off, rewire it. OK, run through the actual pattern and then it should be fine. So before you plan to change the cable, I would suggest you check your screen, how you can test it. You can put another temporary screen and check if same thing does happen, then definitely the problem could be the actual wire. Sometimes if you, for some reason, if you disconnected the wire and reconnected, maybe you didn't connect it properly. So make sure you check the cable alignment. So first thing is first, what are you going to do? We're going to take out the back cable out, disconnect the battery before you touch anything else. And then we're going to take all the screws out from the hinges and from Wi-Fi cable. Why? Because the Wi-Fi antenna cable comes from behind the screen. So we must need to disconnect them. And do it very carefully, especially when you take out any hinge screw. You have to be careful. Why? Because sometimes the screw base get dried off and when you try to open it up it get cracked you know so be gentle when you do that and i'm just double checking the model number everything looks pretty similar and i think that should be fine okay and now if you do have let's say the cable is not faulty but the actual screen is in that point you can apply the same video procedure how to replace the uh, screen as well, you know, so that video should cover up both. So let me know if it does solve your problem. If it doesn't also, I'll be very happy to hear back from you. So this sort of replacement does cost around 40 to 45 minutes. Could take longer because I do everyday jobs. And that's why it's so easy to me. But if this is first time for you and doing it yourself, I would say, please only start this replacement job if you have plenty of time okay make sure you don't do rush because those cables are really really sensitive very thin and easy to break okay and don't bend the cable too much and also be careful when you bend down those hinges as i said and you can keep the screws organized to make job smoother and easier otherwise you'd be so confused even most of the screw looks same so we separated now we're going to take out the front bezel the front bezel is the plastic square board, which one covered the actual screen. Okay. And that bezel sometimes do have a couple of screws. As you can see, I'm pulling this off without removing the screws. I completely forgot. So don't make this sort of mistake. First of all, you need to take those two screws out from the bottom side, and then it would be easier to come out. Okay. Now I can see two screws. That's the reason it was not coming out and I completely lost my mind. So take a tweezer and peel off this two pad, which covers up the screws. Leave it on the screen or somewhere.
Now, if you ask me what was the most sensitive part for this replacement, I would say to put the cable back. Okay. So when you connect the actual webcam connector, uh, it seems it's very small, tiny connectors, and it's very difficult to push in because if you push too hard, you're going to break the actual PCB for the web camera. Okay. And then to open this up also kind of challenging if you spudge it too much you're gonna break those plastic anchor so this video is kind of fast forwarded like 3x times you know so don't think you could finish that quicker just be patient and keep carry on by the way enjoy the rest of the video and still if you do have any question don't forget to leave it in the comment section and guys if you're really happy with this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like and share. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye. For
All right, so finally everything seems done. Now we're gonna give it a try and check if you do experience the same problem. So when you press the power button, it might take a couple of minutes to turn on because don't forget, you disconnected the battery and CMOS might get resetted. So that's why the system would take a little bit of time. Okay, so I can see it's on. Now I'm gonna bend it down to 45 to different angle just to check if there is any blink or flickering. I can see this is quite stable. There is no issues found once we change the LCD flex cable. Okay, so it was a kind of challenging, but end of the day, all good. Thank you so much for watching again, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.